This is the Gorilla Gang Podcast, 3421. I am the one-man gang, and this is my brother. The Vanilla Gorilla. Here with the next episode in our continuous saga. Um, today we're going to be talking about, and probably for a while we'll do a coronavirus update every week. As well, we're going to be talking about the MJ documentary because it, it's something to be talked about. And um, It's really the only sports that's going on right now, to be honest. Yeah, they did show the final game of the Cleveland Golden State. I, I mean, was, reruns, but, yeah, you know, but it, as far as it's new, something that's new mm-hmm. that, that nobody's seen before, so mm-hmm. that's... It's, and, New sports, and I'm I, I'm enjoying when they show boxing. I mean, I'm, you know, I think boxing now still has a quality to it, but you know, to me, it's nothing like old. Didn't they just boxing. have a UFC fight last night? They did. I don't know how no well crowd. it went over, and I don't even know all the results. But I, don't I was disappointed because it was supposed to be originally Tony Ferguson fighting Khabib Namagamov which was going to be a very interesting mm-hmm. and good fight. I think Tony Ferguson, whether he would have won or not, is a very tough uh, competitor, crazy man, too. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'd have been interested to see that. But because Khabib was in Russia already, it was hard for him. Right, couldn't get over here. Yeah, that makes right. sense. So it, it was kind yeah, of disappointing. You know, two of the fighters tested positive for coronavirus. I believe it. When they said positive, I thought they were talking about steroids right. at first, you know. So there was two fighters... Um, a guy named Sosa, they call him the alligator or something like that. Um, he tested positive for it, and I don't know who the other fighter was, so that kind of changed plans. I believe it was in a closed venue. Um, mm. The only way you could watch it outside of being an a insider was, uh, you know, to watch it on pay-per-view. So, you know, um, I don't know if anybody saw that. If you did, please leave comments and let us know how that looked or how awkward it was. <coughs> I'm um, over my line to the- so, yeah, um, you know, once again, coronavirus update, pretty much everything that I've seen has been the same. You're required to wear a mask in Delaware now. I know there are rumblings. I don't know if you heard of them opening Delaware there are like things, June 1st. There are things that are open. So, um, there's a shopping center right over here. It's been bone dry, empty for months. And then since Friday, every time I go you know, to Acme or across the street or something, there's a lot more cars in there, so something over there is open. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I know Delaware's beaches are reopened. Mm. Um, mm. So the beaches have reopened. Um, I actually mean Selena Isn't this the open. regular time they will open, though? Like, mm. typically? Ish. Yeah, usually around Memorial Day is big beach season. Uh, pools. Usually pools open. Uh, uh, yeah, so masks are still required, um, limited openings, but the social distancing and all that stuff still is in effect. Um, uh, yesterday me and Celine went to Walmart, there was a line at the Walmart on 13 wrapped around the building to get in. I was like, we're here, Celine, we're not staying in that line. Me and my wife went to Target on Friday, same deal. Um, I gotta say, this is kind of interesting. I've cussed two people out over the coronavirus whole deal um, recently here. So I was at work on uh, Friday mm-hmm. and I stopped at a Wawa. <coughs> Is it? Uh, I stopped at work uh, to a Wawa and um, exit 74 off 95 going north. Uh, I was in Maryland, so I, I don't, I'm not sure. I think the city's Falston or something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like Falston, Joppa. Is that? Yeah. So. Yep. so I get out and I forgot my mask. I have a mask in the truck with me at all times. Got out, didn't go in the store. And this guy that worked for DHL, I guess, decided he was going to be the mask police or whatever. And says to me, oh, I like your invisible mask. So I literally, and I quote, and, you know, might not have been the best thing to say. I literally said, oh, I forgot my mask, but you didn't have to get smart. Why don't you mind your fucking business the next time? (laughs) And that was just because he if he had said, hey, man, you forgot your mask, I'd have been like, oh. I left it in the truck. Let me go get it. But it was almost like as if he was Being policing. Hey, it's my responsibility about it. Right, yeah, right, right. to make sure that you're wearing a mask. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't, get don't, don't do that to me. Okay. I you, will cuss you, you out. You never know who you're dealing with. I, don't, right. I never understood why people do that when they don't know the person that they're dealing with. Right. What if you're some crazy nut or pull out a gun and be like, uh, how about this for a mask? Mm-hmm. You know what's even funnier though? I put my mask on, went in, and I didn't see the guy. I had to go to the bathroom anyway. Mm-hmm. I didn't see the guy. I knew he was in the bathroom because I didn't see him. Went in there, 
did my business, went to wash my hands. When I went to the dryer, he was just coming from the dryer, dryer. He literally jumped when I walked over there to go dry my hands. I wasn't worried about that. It is just, you know, leave me alone. Um, the other one, me and my wife were at, was at Target. And people have sense, or either they don't. You know, there's people who don't have sense. But this lady seemed like she was pretty sensible. Coin calls. So there's a line... If you ever been to Target at the mall, there's those two front entrances and then a side entrance. Yep. Okay. So they were using the side entrance because they were at capacity. So they were letting people in as they were letting people out. Right. So the line formed around the corner on the side of the Target. Gotcha. Okay. So when we got around the corner, this lady comes and she's getting ready to jump in front of my wife. And I'm looking at her the whole time because as soon as she did, I was going to let her know, hey, you know. And then she walks behind us. And then she sees a line around the corner, and she's still trying to fit herself. And then she's like, oh, is that the line over there? I said, I, I said, you know it is, you crazy motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, but um, I don't know, man. Sometimes stuff like that, I guess I could let go. But I just, the audacity of people <laughs> makes me cuss them out. So, you know, please forgive me. I got a temper. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I think this whole opening June 1st thing, is more about greed than thinking that it's safe. Um, I, I think there's a lot of pressure because of the economy. There's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. because of, of um, well, just all the stuff that's going on, you know, suicide rates, um, uh, uh, domestic, domestic violence. Abuse, yeah. um, there's people, they're, they're, the economic pressure is starting to outweigh the the medical pressure like I don't care what you say I'd rather go broke than be dead because you ain't got no difference one way or the other <laughs> right. I think Delaware uh, we're broke from Delaware mm -hmm. um, as of yesterday um, 221 people have died I believe mm -hmm. uh, most of them unfortunately you know uh, unfortunately are were in elder care long term facilities and, and just got sick right. um, but the youngest uh, Delaware's had is uh, I guess a 22 year old died a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago mm -hmm. um, you know so still to me it's not worth your life you know uh, um, I'm okay with, with and again we keep talking about this I work from home anyway so mm -hmm. I'm kind of not the right person to make the claim that hey I don't care about it because I'm home anyway right um so, it, it, it's unfortunate, but, you know, those people that are just blatant, I want to go to the beach because I want to go to the beach to get some sun. Hey, first of all, you're going to get skin cancer. Second of all, <laughs> <laughs> you might get coronavirus and, hey, maybe that's your way out of skin cancer because you won't have to worry about skin cancer right. when you can't breathe. Right. Um, but, yeah, it, it, it is what it is. Like, I, I did see there are... Um, they're beginning to eye second round of stimulus checks. Um, oh, so that is that was approved. It wasn't approved. They're, okay. They're looking, they're, okay. Looking like, into it. Yeah. So um, I know the Treasury Pro Department had to borrow like four trillion dollars or something, some some weird amount. Um, but you know that would be nice. I will say again, I will not turn down a stimulus check. I don't necessarily need it, but. Um, um, if we get stimulus checks here in June, that'll be a good Father's Day gift for me from uh, the government. Right. Right. Um, I still refuse to acknowledge that it comes from Dick Stain Donald because it doesn't. It's coming from uh, the House and the Senate, uh, <laughs> and it's my money anyway. You know, I paid taxes since I was 18. You're just giving me my own money back, so. Uh, uh, We'll see if that happens. Hopefully it does. Hopefully for for, for people that need it, uh, they get in. I know there's a lot of people struggling and and what whatnot, but um Oh, let me cut you off. Actually I was done and I was just stuck and I was oh, like yeah. shit, I don't have anything else to tell um, <laughs> something we forgot to do in the beginning of the show like a bunch of jackasses. Wanna wish all the mothers, stepmothers, happy Mother's Day. Um that is something I want to acknowledge. Mothers are very important, as also so are fathers. But definitely want to give a shout out to the mothers there. Um, as he was reminded, because Selena came down the steps. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, what's going on? Stephanie, what's going on, brother? 
Um, so yeah, so pretty much the same as it was last week with, with everything going on, mask everywhere. Um, if you can find hand sanitizer, oh, for those in Delaware that's looking for hand san sanitizer and can't find it, there's a truck stop on 13, uh, right before the 1340 split if you're in Newcastle County. And it's kind of in the cut a little bit. It's between Hooters and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Enterprise right, Car. Yeah, they do have hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. It's little bottles. I think they're five ninety nine a piece, or you can get three for fifteen. Um, I did buy some from there because I drive a truck, and I went there to fuel up on Friday. And I was like, you know what? I'm not finding this anywhere else. I got some from Shoprite. It's the most horrible smelling stuff, but it says it kills ninety nine percent of bacteria. So that's right. what we rolling with right yeah. now. Um, and the hand sanitizer is called COVID something. So, <laughs> um, I found that to be interesting. But uh, they have it, you know. Um, and that's not the only place I've seen that brand okay. of it either. Yeah, you know? I mean, you just got to see. In fact, I have it in the car right now. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, just look around. Like I said, shop right had some. Um, and another tidbit is the KN95 mask, which is like the Chinese or Korean version of the N95 in America. Um, it's supposed to keep out 95% of whatever particles or what mm -hmm. happened. They do have those at the uh, First State Firearm Gun Shop, which is also on 13, just a few stores up from that truck stop I was telling you about. So if you're looking for any, hopefully they're not out of any. I, I got a couple from there. Um, you know, you can go there. I think it's thirteen ninety nine for two, and they will only allow you to buy the two. two. Yeah, it's pretty much a package deal. Gotcha. You know? Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. Stay safe. Wash your hands. All that good shit. Don't don't put uh. Don't let your pride get you killed, and that's yeah. you know with anything. You know, I want to go to the beach and. And as important is, I don't want to be in my coffin. So yeah, I'm not worried about the beach at all. I wasn't. That's Brandon from Amazon, right? What's going on? Yeah. Um, Shout out to Brandon. Brandon hooked me up with a a, a Bane mask he made, oh, that's and awesome. made me a Bane mask. So shout out to Brandon for for the Bane mask. And there goes my phone. <laughs> so, um, oh, also while I'm on here, uh, if any of you are friends with Liz and Dave Brown. Um, on Facebook, I believe Liz is uh, selling handmade masks or what have you if you're still in the market for them. I'm not sure about cost or anything, but like I said, if you're friends with them, you can go on her page. And I believe uh, Dave has advertised it too, where you can go on their page and, uh, you know, find out about getting the mask made or what have you. So, shout out to Dave and Liz Brown. Um, Liz Jarrell Brown. There's another Liz Brown. On Facebook too, but uh. So yeah. one of the guys I went to college with, he's on here. He's deaf. So if you see me doing sign language, that's why. Oh, okay. I thought you were joking, and I kind of downplayed it. No, I, I was going to mention that. I was going to say that I was doing sign language because I'm talking to him. <laughs> that's impressive. I didn't even know he knew sign language. Yes. Yeah. So that it's makes one of the 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 few things that I learned in college well i will say this <laughs> that makes my little bit of spanish i know really feel <laughs> you know stupid now because he's actually really fluently doing this so the funny story about him is um so he's the one that initially taught me sign language and all i could do was spell mm -hmm. um you remember um back in college all I could do was finger spell. But then he got he got mad and started to teach me actual words and how to sign. Wow. So I learned finger spelling first, like you know, alphabet A B C D E F G H I all that. And then I literally was sitting there spelling each individual words. Mm -hmm. And he's like, <laughs> it made me learn the actual words. So, um, and I had a girlfriend in college that she was hard of hearing. Mm. Uh, so, so equivalent to talking really loud for like a, an elderly, elderly. person, mm -hmm. but she only knew Spanish. 
but sign language is the same in Spanish as in English. So she would sign ah. and voice the word. So I learned uh, I learned sign language and Spanish simultaneously. And even to this day, when I'm signing, sometimes I will say the Spanish word instead of the English word, because mm -hmm. technically, when you're signing, you're supposed to voice the words, because mm -hmm. you don't know what I'm saying if I'm signing. Right. Um, so you voice the words so everybody else around you, if you're an interpreter, you you voice it. So sometimes I'll actually say the Spanish word just out of habit. Yeah, right. And actually, when I got out of college, my dad told me. I would sign in my sleep, which is funny. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, so. That's funny. So. See, look. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. So, uh, moving on here. Uh, we're going to go into the uh, Jordan documentary. Oh, yes. Which so. has been a pleasure for me to watch. Um, i tell you one thing right off the bat that it, it didn't make me think that Jordan's psycho, but it might. It made me think that his competitiveness might be to his detriment. <laughs> well, it's. I don't think it's to his. Not detriment. But I don't think it's a detriment, but it. Overboard. Is that fair? No. No. All right. I would say here's what I would say about his, his ultra competitiveness, and, and obviously Kobe mirrored that as well. Yes, he did. Um. Speaking of, there was a, a that first episode was a, the, like the Kobe episode, um, which was kind of cool to see. You know, well, a little Kobe tribute. I, I gained some respect for Kobe through that um, because I never personally heard Kobe <coughs> say, "I mimic Michael Jordan." I never personally heard him say that. Right. He basically said, "Everything you see me do is from him." Everything from me, is and from that him, gave so me a whole nother respect. It wouldn't for him. be me if I have. Heard that, unfortunately, way before he passed or while he was playing, I would have had another respect for Kobe. I wasn't the biggest Kobe fan. I, I wasn't the biggest Kobe fan, but this made me gain some respect for him. Uh, and, folks, uh, we're going to take a really quick break, and we will be back with the rest of the podcast. If you're on live, we will be back in a minute. Peace.